Mom, no hands. <laughs> Welcome to Padu Motivations. This is Padu, and I'm going to talk to you about the autopilot on the Tesla Model 3 rear wheel drive. Oh, that's a little tongue twister. But anyway, what, I had this car for about 30 days now, and I tell you, one of the main functions that really intrigued me about the Tesla was the autopilot, being able to drive hands-free. So we're gonna talk a little bit about that function, and we're gonna take you on a little scenic view of the Phoenix, Arizona area, okay? Let's go. Okay, we're gonna uh, show you how to engage a traffic aware cruise control. I'm just gonna go into another lane right now. Okay, so the traffic, uh, traffic aware cruise control is just like any other cruise control, any other vehicle, except it'll slow down if you're approaching a car, so it will allow you to hit the back of someone's car, okay? In order to engage this function, all you do is press the, uh, press this lever down once. I have it set for 71 miles an hour. Okay, that's the speed limit here, 65. If I wanna go any faster, I use this ball right here and go right here. So then that's gonna, that's gonna take care of that. Okay, and another function is it will let you keep your distance from other vehicles by pressing this to the left. So if I want to be closer to the vehicle in front of me, I do it like that. If I want to be further away, I just use it that way, okay? With the traffic aware cruise control, it's not going to keep you in your lane. It's not going to stop at stop signs. And it's not going to stop at traffic light. The only thing it's going to let you do is keep your distance in front of another vehicle. And I'm going to show you that right now. I'm going to push this to about 76 miles an hour. Well, let's do it to, well, I, my max is 70, 79 miles an hour. Let's do it 80. Because now at 80, I know I'm going to be in the back. You know what? Let's do 80. Let's do 82. 82 miles an hour is definitely going to push me right in the back of this car. And again, I have my both my hands on the wheels. My uh, feet are not on the gas at all. See, and watch, it's gonna slow, it's gonna slow down. See how it's slowing down? It's not gonna allow me to go into the back of this car. It's not gonna allow me to, to crash into the back of this car. So with this function, it will allow you to, um, you know, have some peace of mind, uh, drive a little safely, and to know that um, you're not gonna, you know, go into the back of somebody. So that's basically it. how to disengage it. You're just gonna put this lever down one time like that, excuse me, push it up once, and that disengages it, okay? To, to put it back again, just press it down one time, okay? Or to disengage it, you can press on the, you can press on the brakes at all. So I just put my foot on the brake, okay? And if you can see over here, we have the, uh, we took the scenic route. We have the Cardinal Stadium right here, uh, State Farm Stadium in, uh, Lovely Glendale AZ. <laughs> it's a beautiful area. Okay, so now we're just continuing to go. And by the way, and look at look at the temperature in uh, <laughs> in Glendale or the Phoenix area. That's pretty. That's pretty crazy, huh? One. Yeah, that's pretty nuts. That's pretty crazy there. Okay, so so that's the uh, that is the uh, cruise control function. Now I'm going about to now I'm about to show you the um, autopilot function. And this is one of my favorite functions, whereas you can be hands free. So we're going to show you that in a minute. Okay, now we're going to check out the auto steer function of the Tesla Model Three. This is one of my favorites, and uh, before I like I said I had this car for about 30 days but the first thing I checked out was the auto steer because it intrigued me so much that you can drive uh, basically without your hands on the wheel but that's not recommended you always want to keep your hands very close now what auto steer does is it's it's not good this is not fully autonomous this is just an auto steer which means it's going to keep you in your lane and it's gonna stop 
in, if a car stops in front of you, it's gonna, you, this, the vehicle is gonna stop. It won't allow you to smash into the back of someone's car. So the auto steer, typically I try to use it, maybe in not this much traffic, maybe you know, a lot of people might use it, you know, right now it's some lonely road and you know, you just put it on auto steer and it keeps, and it keeps, it's gonna keep the car between the lines. So. Let's go into the auto steer function, and all you're going to do is put the, press the lever down twice, and you're going to see some blue lines here. So you press it down twice like that, and that's auto steer right here. Now I'm taking my hands off the off the uh, off the um, steering wheel right here, so I don't have it. So look, look, mom, no hands. <laughs> this is so cool. I'm actually driving, and it's taking the curves and everything. I'm not driving. My foot is not even on the gas. And I'm just, I'm cruising right along at 70 miles an hour, riding down, uh, riding down the highway here in beautiful, sunny Phoenix AC. Look at the temperature. <laughs> How hot is that? How hot is that? So that's your drive, that's the, um, that is the uh, autopilot, okay? And then to take it off autopilot, you can either, you can either, you just hold the wheel and just turn it lightly and that disengages, that disengages it. However, when you disengage the autopilot, the cruise control is still on. So you see? My cruise control is still on. It's set for 70 miles an hour max. And to disengage the cruise control, um, I just hit up one time and you hear the, you hear the uh, little beep. Okay, so let's do it one more time. My favorite, the autopilot. Press it down twice. One, two, there we go. And, and again, you should always have your hands near the wheel. By the way, with autopilot, if for some reason you don't touch this wheel, uh, it might be every 30 seconds or so, you're gonna get a little a warning message there for you saying that uh, you, need to put, uh, you need to put your hands on the wheel. And as you can see, my max is 74, right? But it's going down to 68. It's not gonna allow me to get into an accident with this car ahead of me. And again, I have no, I'm, I'm, I'm hands free. Let's see how long it takes me to see, and now it's actually shutting down. I'm, I actually just put my foot on the brakes. Go. It does take some trusting, uh, you know, to take your hand off the wheel down a major highway going, um, you know, 70, 80 miles an hour, but it's a great feature to have, and uh, I love it. Okay, we're still on autopilot. Remember I told you the autopilot he has the, you have the two uh, blue blue lines right here, so I'm still on autopilot. Somebody's ahead of me. Actually, I took it off of autopilot because this guy broke pretty quick, quickly. So um, even though the autopilot would have stopped, so I am gonna get in another lane right now, and I'm gonna engage autopilot one more time. And again, look at those beautiful mountains over there in, in Phoenix. Man, that's that's unbelievable. But anyway, here we go. We're gonna do the autopilot. One, two, twice, and here we go. Okay. And um, that basically wraps up the video. I just wanted to show you guys, and again, this is a great function uh, of, the, uh, of the Tesla uh, Model 3. But if, um, if I showed you anything, or if I maybe even inspired you to buy an, uh, a Tesla or even an all-electric vehicle, hey, let me know. If, or if there's something you would like to know about a Tesla, uh, please, please, um, you know, contact me. Um, I would love to explain it to you, okay? And uh, one last thing. Look, Mom, no hands.